when Varangian and Herald was released, I was, huh? Um, what? But then people pointed out to dear old Bose that there's a neat little unintended consequence of his abilities when you play with zombie mode. See, whenever you're playing with zombies, there is a project called Turn Undead that is ran by the holy site that turns all of the zombies in the territory of that city under your control for a period of time. What isn't mentioned, however, is that these zombies count as levied units. That means whenever they kill a unit, they trigger Varangian Herald's ability to give science, culture, and faith equal to 50% of that unit's combat strength. So what do we do with this information? We convert zombies, fortify them in our borders, and then create a mob farm to endlessly have barbarian zombies run their little decaying faces into our chad zombies over and over again for the rest of time. Now additionally, because this is a silly little challenge game, I'm going to show off how easy religious victories are in Civ 6 by doing a one city, one district religious victory challenge as Varangian Herald. This is a small size map, Pangea type, everything else is standard except I have secret societies and zombie modes enabled, but secret societies honestly didn't really give us much anyways, so I just felt like playing with it on anyways. If you wanted to play the turn one save, it is in my Discord. You can find the link in the description below, and as usual, let's see how Dave's doing. Oh, hey Dave, what are you do- oh, Dave, what are you- oh, He's been upgraded, and he's reached his goal of 50,000 subscri- Oh my gosh, Dave. Dave is so grateful of all of you to getting him to 50k, and he just, he just wants to show off his new upgrade, a shiny new particle beam siege cannon. But he still has a bit to go to reach his goal, so- could you subscribe to help him gain some reinforced armor plating to defend himself on the tough road ahead? Would you kindly help him out? Odin. Give me a good start. Okay, well, I guess this is fine. Let's scout a little bit. Uh, there's some tundra nearby, I guess. You know, I guess this is fine. Maybe we just settle the cattle here? Yeah, let's do that. Let's settle. Uh, I think I'm going to work the deer first, actually. And then I'll work the tobacco afterwards so we can get our pantheon pretty fast. But I'm still going to go scouts like usual. Nothing nothing changing here. Oh, you know what? I was going to get this plus four holy site, but I just realized that I can't put it there because I have to get Mahabodhi Temple. So uh, maybe... Oh, hey, Travel Village. There's our first scouty boy. Uh, I'm actually going to get a slinger because I'm, I'm scared of zombies, if I'm being honest. What do we got? Voids. Oh, okay. Oh, an astrology. Okay. Yep. That's that's incredible. That that's so good. Uh, I'm actually gonna go Pingala here too. We just want the extra culture. Oh, that's a close sieve. Who is that? Hello. Hello. Ah, see. Hello, Ajwao. Well, I'll send him a delegation so he doesn't hate me. But that's a really close sieve. <laughs> that's way too close. Oh, first mean I it's not ideal, but I'll take plus one extra production. That's not bad. Alright, astrology is done. Oh god, here come the zombies already. Um where do we get our holy site? I guess we'll just go top left here. Now that we have enough gold. So we can put Mahabodhi Temple on the woods right next to it. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Another city state. Who is that? Oh, Vilnius? Okay. Not a first meet, but that's okay. We can uh, send a delegation to them later. Or delegation envoy. Oh! Another tribal village. No, oh, no. It starts. It starts. Okay, what are we getting from this? This is... Come on, give me a relic. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll take a free scout. Free scouts are great. As long as it's not like the XP one, that's... Uh, free scouts are so good. Oh, another tribal... Oh, man. See, this is, this is why you build scouts. That's... Oh, that's a lot of barbs! Oh, God. You know what? I think, I've, I think if I just fortify him here, he'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, what are we going to get? Come on. Oh, come on, healed. I think that's actually... Uh, that's, that's actually... Okay, post-production, but I meant to say that's actually the worst one. Actually. I can words good, okay? I can. Look at that. Another one. This is why I love scouts so much. What are we getting? Oh, plus, dude, that okay, that one's actually a really good one. Plus one population is a very nice tribal village to get. Okay, there's our holy site. Now let's work on the uh, zombie project. It's called Turn Undead. It allows you to gain control of zombies in your city's territory. And we're going to use it on that one little boy who's just, 
He's just hanging out there by his lonesome. Oh, who is... Oh, okay, you're like the last person I want to see in a religious game, bud. <sighs> Come on, zombie. You know you want to make your way in. Come on. All right, for our Pantheon here... Uh... I guess we take pastures. We could take plantations. We have two of them, but I have three cattle. Two cattle? Three cattle. Oh, wait, we have the horses, too. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take pastures, I think. That makes the most sense. There's four. That's going to be us plus four culture, so might as well. Gilgamesh! All right, let's go ahead and friend him right now. Let's do it. If you did not know, you could friend Gilgamesh on the first turn, no matter what. Well, he's not taking bait because of the vision, so I'm just going to buy this tile here so we can... Convert him. Right, let's clear the camp. I'm gonna try to get a golden here. If I don't get one, it's okay, but we're gonna we're at least try. You are mine! Now you can see the first instance of Varangian Herald's ability, Varangian Guard in action here, gaining culture, science, and faith equal to 50% of the killed unit's combat strength. Now since Barb Scouts have 10, we get 5 culture, science, and faith from that kill. And with that kill, the real fun begins. Now we just fortify our zombie and let them attack into us. I should just title this Minecraft Zombie Farm. Minecraft Zombie Farm Civ 6? Hello? You can see how strong Varangian Guard is going to be here for us. This is going to give us 10 science and culture, which is enough to just finish the rest of irrigation. And another zombie spawns and it's free real estate. More science, more faith, and more culture. This is so silly. Right, how's religion looking? Uh, okay, we're leading. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Oh, now I have two zombies. That's more than one. Okay, I take it. I take it back, Saladin. I take back what I said before. We could be. We could be friends. I was hoping to get a golden for Exodus, but ten turns left. I don't. I don't think that's happening. Another? Oh, hello, beardy boy. Can I help you? Let's uh, let's do a little dip low. Yeah, you want this? You know you want this, bud. Oh, he does. Oh, we have another governor title here, do I? I think I'm just going to go Void Singers. We're not going to get a ton of yields from Void Singers, but that plus four extra faith from the early Old God Obelisk is nice. So, do we take it? Wait, did I finish? Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, let's go ahead and take it. Why not? Who wants my... Tobacky. Okay, here you go, bud. I was hoping not to, but I'm just going to release this zombie. Uh, I want the yields. I kind of want them now. I was hoping another zombie would randomly spawn, but that's okay. Another governor title is what I really want for this game, and that's going to be Moksha. When was the last time I went Moksha? That wasn't, uh, wasn't a, zo a Dom game. Dead zombie? New zombie? My zombie. Not my zombie. I'm also going to put down a government plaza. I know, I know you're saying this is a one district only. I don't, the government plaza doesn't count, okay? It doesn't count. I make the rules. Well, I think we just take free inquiry here. I'm not going to be spreading by religion until the next era, so... We'll just take free inquiry for the extra era score. Uh, yeah, okay, let's buy some luxuries. I'm also going to sell everything because I don't need it. Now that I have a ton of gold, I'm just going to straight up gold buy a shrine. I like faith. Turn 50 political philosophy is not too bad considering we're not really trying to get culture stuff. So uh, let's just take classical republic here. I'll, I'll switch it to autocracy later when I build Mahabodhi Temple, but this is fine for now. We also need to get more zombies because we need we need a lot of zombies for this to work. So let's go let's go set, let's go scouting for some. Hey, we got our great prophet. Well, we can claim him. Let's get him now, and let's. Of course, of course, there's a zombie in the way when I want to do that. Why wouldn't there be? Right? Why wouldn't there be? Go How did I get another governor title? Oh. <laughs> I stepped on a tribal village off screen when I was scared. That's actually fantastic. Okay. Uh, we'll use this one for Moksha then. 
and then we'll go uh, into laying out of hands. This is what I use in Dom games. It's super nice to leapfrog Moksha around and fully heal a unit every five turns, but we'll use it for healing up our zombies this game. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna kill this zombie. I need to go get my religion. So for those that are unaware, I gave my YouTube community, you all, the power to name my religion in the last community poll that I did, and the top comment from the poll was a swing and a mish. <laughs> all right. So of course we have to take the cow here, and then work ethic, and okay. Well, there's no meeting houses, so uh, synagogue works, right? Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Swing and a mish. I get it. I know. Swing and Amish, but swing and a mish too. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. Get off of it. Can you get off of my holy site? All right, cool. We got that. He's mine now. Release me. Nope. All right. Game over. There's Yerevan. You, I have to... There, this is all I care about for the rest of this game. Just soothing Yerevan. I'm putting Diplo League in right now so I can get two envoys. So when I send my first envoy, I get two instead of just one. Let's also grab another Moksha title. So Yerevan had a quest to boost currency, which is... You do that by sending a trade route, so I'm going to do that. Oh, shut up, Beardy. See, there's two envoys from Diplo League. Now I'll put a third one in there and we can soothe them with one more envoy. Diplo favor, Diplo favor, Diplo favor, Diplo favor. Turn 60 in a nut. Can you guys scout for tribal villages, please? Oh, we got a Yervin. Give me Yervin. Give me Yervin. Yeah. Oh, what are we going to get? Give me something good. Okay, sure, inspirations, whatever. Okay, I'm actually going to stop this turn undead project because well, I'm trying to get more zombies. And there is a chance of a zombie lowering your population from attacking it. And whenever that lowers... An extra zombie appears as well, but since it didn't, I'm going to pause until I'm ready to go ahead and convert those zombies again. Money. Oh, another zombie. Follow me. Follow. Let's go. You come to butt head. Yes. He followed me. That's so good. Also, I lied. I'm going to get missionaries now. I'm going to convert Zhuo. Wow. He doesn't have a... He doesn't have a religion. I don't think we need Pingala anymore. I think we can just run Moksha now for the rest of this game. Let's put him in our cap. Okay, don't attack my archer, buddy. There you go. Take this, Rob. Take it. Oh, we found Kilimanjaro. Okay. Oh, there's another Civ. Look, who is that? This is exactly what I want to happen. Just attack my zombies, die, and then give me more zombies. Okay, let's see who it is. Oh. London. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Stave Church is done on this. There it is. Okay. There's Era Score. Uh, I'm also going to levy Yerevan for Era Score because I do. I actually want to get a Golden Age this era or upcoming era. And now we can actually start Ma Bodhi Temple once we finish this Turn Undead project. Who wants my tobacco? Oh, oh, she does, and she and she wants to be friends. Let's go, Liz. Let's go. I, th I think it's safe to say this warrior is dead. Baseball, Portugal. You love it. Take it. That should be all of Portugal now with Lisbon being converted. Oh, God. End of the tent. Okay. I need a golden here. Well, I don't need it, but I mean, I would really... Okay, yeah, I kind of need it. Uh, also, our final promotion is going to be for Moksha. We 100% need this. We're going to take Patron Saint here. This gives Apostles trained in the Moksha City an extra promotion on top of their original one. And I'll show you why it's so powerful later on. But really, how am I getting a golden here? It's 10 turns. Um, I guess I could Suze another City State because I'm going to get a Mani in three turns with that other golden. I mean, uh, Governor title. Can I get my Bodhi out? Uh, I think if I chop it, I can, right? So let's sell everything. And then I think I buy another builder once I sell everything here. All right, yep, let's get a builder out. Let's also get Amani with this extra governor title and put her in... I guess we could use Buenos, right? Yeah, let's put her in there. 
Oh, wait, no. Let's put her in Kabul. That could seuss her once she's established. God, so dumb. Uh, seven turns. Uh, we should be able to finish it, I think. Okay, well, let's undo this camp. I'm going to set this to production focus only. Oh, pop 10. Okay, there's some error score from getting pop 10. Now we're going to go ahead and chop the deer tile. And we'll chop the woods. Okay, yeah, we should. Once once we chop that extra woods tile, it should be at like four or three turns. That We should be able to get this pretty easy peasy. I'm also releasing two zombies here instead of just one. So they can both yeet themselves into us. All right, final chop brings us to... Th okay, yeah, three turns. Yeah, we'll be able to get it. So that gives us error score, and that should be able to give us the ability to evangelize and give us our golden. I love watching the yields just go up and the, <laughs> the turns go down from killing zombies killing each other. It's so good. It's so satisfying. Oh, my scout! Oh, no. Oh, what's that? Oh, we used Kabul and... F okay, and we found Crater Lake. Error score. Nice. Now that should be... There it is. There's Ma Bodhi Temple. Wasn't worried. Never didn't have it. And there's my gold... Wait, how did I get a golden age here? That should be plus four from Ma Bodhi Temple. What did I get the plus one from? So there's Ma Bodhi Temple. And then plus... Oh, dedication. Oh, okay. Oh, we triggered Buttress from building a classical wonder era or later. Okay, nice. And for the rest of this game, I'm just going to be alternating between Holy Site Prayers for Extra Faith and Turn Undead Projects because that's all we need to do. That's all we have to do for the rest of this game. I mean, aside from, you know, Apostles. This is why I wanted a Golden Age of this era for Exodus of the Evangelist. This gives plus two movement to all of our Apostles as well as an extra two charges to them. So our Apostles are going to be <laughs> insane this era. I also saved my evangelizing this era for the era score, but I don't even think I'll need to worry about it. So uh, we're going to take holy order for the 30% discount on buying apostles as well as, I guess, pilgrimage for the faith per city. Yeah. Look at that. Evangelized. Easy peasy. Now we're just going to make sure we go straight into a theocracy. Let's gold by a builder. I saw, uh, should we get a trader? Yeah, let's just get a trader. You know what? I'm actually just going to get Apostles now, too. I was going to wait for Theocracy, but I don't even... I think with Yerevan plus Moksha plus Exodus, I, we could literally convert the entire world with five or six Apostles, so... Uh, world Congress... Oh, I was hoping for the Combat Strength World Congress for religion, but that's fine. We don't... It doesn't really matter. We don't really need it anyways, because they're not building Apostles yet. And the main reason why the Moksha double promo is so strong is we take Proselytizer here for the first promotion, which eliminates 75% of existing pressure from other religions in that city. Now we're going to do that for these two here. I also end up taking Translator as the second promotion. Religious spread is triple the strength in other Civ's cities. So in one spread from an Apostle, you eliminate 75% of the other Civ's pressure and then triple strength spread into the same city, which allows you to convert cities in one spread most of the time. Uh, most of the time. This other apostle is going to be our bully apostle. We take proselytizer here, and then we end up taking debator, which gives the apostle plus 20 religious strength. This is just stupid. Just This is just stupid. Please don't. Please don't step. Okay, thank God. This is actually the hardest part of the game, is making sure my, zomb or my apostles don't get stepped on by zombies, actually. Not even the other parts, just this one. Zombies, please. Is this the right one? Watch how strong this is. One charge. Oh, I'm so sorry, Salah <laughs> You, You love baseball now. Honestly, I'm just going to keep supplementing Apostles. I don't even need Theocracy here. We're just going to keep buying them whenever I have enough faith because we're just going to win so fast. Uh, Salah Are you an idiot, sir? I don't understand the question, and I won't respond to it. Okay. <laughs> it's such an idiot. It's stupid. <laughs> oh, I can't get over how satisfying this is. Just watching the like it's so nice. Give me all the yields, man. I think that's but this this is half of his cities. Yeah, it literally is. Ew, Greece, get your yucky religion out of here. Icky. Alright, let's make sure I have the Giga Apostles selected. And uh bye bye Greece's religion.
two more giga chat apostles on the way. These are, this is just, the strat is so insane once you get it working. Little missionary you have. Die! Die! Debate me, debate me, you have to debate me. Also, I didn't have to convert every single <laughs> one of his cities. I just, I just did it to send a message. It's not about efficiency. My project finished. I'm still making sure all of these zombies stay under my control. Also making sure my fossils don't get stepped on too. Pericles, what are you... Get out of here! Oh, okay. One charge. Oh my god, it's so strong! Please, take the, take the settler, not me, I beg of you! Brass shines as uh. fair to the ignorant as gold to the goldsmith. Okay. Oh, you- oh, do you want to fight now, Lizzie? Would you like to partake in some theological combat? Huzzah! Take this! And a little bit of that! Don't worry, we've got some more reinforcements coming. I'm actually gonna get a guru just in case we need to heal our debaters up. Because... That you, we can see we are just constantly fighting all of these missionaries. Uh, is that all a Gilga, I think? Oh, no. Okay, well, Greece had another had a say otherwise. But now that should be all of Gilga. I'm also continuously dumping every envoy that I have into Yerevan so I don't lose them. Lizzie just doesn't know when to quit. Just stop. Go. We don't want your... Oh. Oh, did you not like that? I'm so... I am so sorry, Elizabeth. I apologize. Let's take an overview. What is this? Uh, oh, hey, we only have Pericles and Elizabeth to convert. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, in my city, I just have zombies sitting here fortifying, gaining science, culture, and faith for free like every other turn. Let us navigate through the misty mountains here. I think we should be fine. I don't see any zombies yet. Corinth? More like Borinth. Take religion, you heathens. You too, Elizabeth. You'll you'll learn to love me. It's it's fine. Let's also convert Athens too. <laughs> There's Greece's holy city. Okay, I think I literally only have like four cities left to convert, and that's the game. Okay, well, a little more than four, but you got you you got what I meant. We're really close. Okay, we're very close. Zero, okay, this is this is why I was being super careful. Everyone, say goodbye to that apostle. All right, well, let's see. Yep, just Greece and England left. That's it. I don't even know. If we're going to need these extra apostles back here, because we might even win without them. Take it. Take this and love us again! Oh god, ten turns. We're gonna... I guess we Dark Age? Does it even matter if we Dark Age? I think we can win before then, if I'm being honest. I don't think it matters at all. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, Greece, I'm going to have to ask you nicely to stop reconverting your cities. Okay? That's all I have. That's all I ask. This one's going to This one's going to go up to Liz. The other one's going to go over to Greece. I think this is going to win it for us actually with these next two charges. So if we just convert Sheffield here and then go up to Liverpool, I think that should be it. So let's go ahead and convert. That's Hello? Wait, is that it? <laughs> a religious victory is so easy. One city, one district, zombie fortification as Varangian Herald religious victory. Oh my god. Yeah, I was on a small size map, but honestly, okay, standard, it would have been like 20 more turns, so it doesn't, it doesn't even matter at all. I always talk about how the religious victory is the easiest victory in the entire game, and I hope I hope this demonstrates why. 
Even if we didn't have Yerevan in the game, I mean, yeah, that helped out a ton. The ability to combine Exodus of the Evangelists, Golden Ages, with Moksha's double promotion with Apostles is just, it's so insanely good. You don't even need a ton of Apostles to do it. You don't even have to wait till Theocracy. You just go. Now, obviously, this isn't the ideal way to play the new Herald, but the fact that the Undead Project Zombie, or the Zombie Project, counts as levied units is just, uh, we had to play it. We had to do this. So here's my first attempt at this gameplay. You can see a screenshot of the amount of zombies that I was farming. But in this gameplay that I did off uh, off recording, I was it was super snaky and I couldn't navigate my apostles because there were so many zombies that spawned. So anyways, this was a super silly game. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't been around next week, the start of May, I'm going to be doing my tier list week. All of the updated tier lists are finally coming. It's going to be the wonder tier list, the city state tier list, as well as the leader tier list since the leader pass is fully complete. So look out for that at the start of May. It'll be May 1st is the first one that goes out. But with that being said, that's going to do it for me here. Uh, if you all enjoyed this video, please subscribe. You get to see a large number go burr, and you get to see hopefully Dave reach 60K subs. So I also have a Discord and a Twitter if you'd like to join those. The, all of the links are in the description below. And if you wanted to support me financially, you don't have to, no obligation. But if you wanted to, I have a Patreon and a coffee in the description as well. Um, there's no obligation to support me at all. It's my content's free, but just wanted to throw that out there. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye now.